have shaped the world as we know it, helping us to find food and water, new land and wealth. The art and science of making maps is called cartography. In the old days, maps were drawn by hand. Cartographers simply drew what they observed, and some of them did an amazing job. After years of negotiations, the National Library of Australia has scored some of the rarest, most impressive maps in the world. The exhibition looks at the history of cartography from the ancient world, from the ancient Babylonian and Ptolemaic world through to the time of Matthew Flinders in 1814 and the first finished map of Australia. The star attraction is this medieval map created by an Italian monk in his cell. Fra Mauro consulted travellers as well as existing maps from Western and Arabic cartographers to create his hand-painted map. It's 700 years old and weighs a ton, and it had never left Italy before. Getting it to Canberra involved precision planning. Carted through Piazza San Marco for a journey to a land that didn't even exist to the man who made it. It was very difficult to, to disassemble it in Venice and then reassemble it here. Uh, we have used three uh, big crates on a freighter. Other items in the exhibition come from the libraries of the Vatican, France and Britain, as well as ancient maps of the southern skies made by the first people of Australia. And the impressive map collection was opened by one of Australia's most famous actors, map fanatic Russell Crowe. They reveal pirates, sea monsters on some occasion, tragedy, terror and triumph on the high seas. Some of these tales are well known, others deserve to be known. From exploring distant lands to claiming them, these maps expose a lot about the world throughout history. Today, maps are very different. If you need to know how to get somewhere or find something, you can do it with the click of a button. Maps aren't usually hand-drawn anymore. Over time, we've developed tools to make mapping more accurate. Planes could take photos from the sky, and computers meant maps didn't have to be drawn by hand. Then there were satellites, which let you see the Earth below. Now, most maps are made on computers, but people still have work to do. They have to analyse all the information and take measurements from the ground. And as long as we have places to go and treasures to find, there'll always be a need for maps. And there's less excuse than ever before for losing your way.